So let's start to look how we can add up in a slice the text matching with that slice in a pie chart. So to add text in a pie chart slice, what we need to do here is first of all, we're going to get the data labels plugin here, this one here. But to just to show you where you can find this, you can basically find it here. If you go into the ecosystem here, we scroll down and we can check to confirm if the plugin supports Chart.js 4. You can see here Chart.js 4 is being supported for the data labels. Once you click on this, you will eventually find somewhere here the link. But if you want to look for it quickly, this is C CDN js.com just look for this one here this is version 2.2 so i'm going to grab this one here and by the way as you can see here i already have the border template the border template you can find here on this specific link here on chart.js getting started chart.js 3 getting started so what we're going to do is once we have this here scroll down here to just below the chart.js library chart.js 4 library we're going to save this here and once i did the refresh we have now the data labels plugin in here however what i want to do is two things i want to change this into a pie chart save and then i'm going to remove these options we don't have a scale here all right now we have this here however the pie or the data labels plugin is still not yet activated so i want to activate this one here to do this what we're going to do here is after the options i'm going to put a comma here i'm going to say your yeah, plugins and then i want to activate the plugin or register this plugin it's called the chart data labels and pay attention to the capital c d and l so once i do this and save this refresh you can see it's being registered and activated immediately however i don't want to show here the numbers i want to show the text so how do we do this well what we can do here in the options I'm going to create again the plugins object and then in here we're going to use here the data labels so once I get here the data labels, we have these data labels functionalities, which is built in from the chart data labels plugin. And now what we can do here, we're going to use the formatter. So the formatter allows us to do certain things. However, we have here the CTX or the context, and then we have here the arguments. So what I want to do here, if I save this or console log first and just show here the context, you will see what will happen. And of course here I want to make sure that this is a function error expression because it's a callback functionality like this. So if I save this, refresh, open up developer tab, you can see we get here these variables. However, I don't want the variables, I want the text that represent these slices. So the number here should be Monday and this should be Tuesday, etc, etc. We can find this in the arguments. If I save here, refresh, we get here the full argument of this specific, I guess the data sets, all the information we need. Now you can see here, we have here the data set index number, which is index zero, which is correct because we only have one index number or one index or data set. And then here we have the data set index index two, depending on which one we're hovering on, it probably will trigger that specific one. If I hover on this Wednesday here, that should be data set number two. And you can see here, that's correct. However, what I need to have here is first of all, I want to get this data set index or data index. This is the most important one. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say a dot. And then all I want to grab here is the data index because that is the one that we're hovering on or at least we want to know at which slice we're exactly hovering. And as you can see here, now it shows every slice the moment we hover on. it. What I want to do is I want to return a value instead of a number, the text. So how do we get the text? Now we have this here. Well, let's do another one here. We'll do console log and we're going to say here again, arguments. But what I want to do here is I'll just say here, this will be the constant for index number will be equal to this. So now we have the arguments here. If I save this, refresh, we get the full details. But what I want to do is I want to extract these text here. Since we have the data index, it becomes easier now if I just click here on the chart, then I go down here and look for the data object and in this object here, we're just going to the labels. And if you recognize this here, this is just basically the item here. We just went to the data here within this entire chart object. We just go into the data and from the data to the labels. And then we get the index number, whichever is matching with that slice. So what we're going to do here, let's scroll down. I'm going to say here, uh, arcs, how do we get there? Let's look at it. We go from arcs. 
to chart, then we go down to data and then labels. So I'm going to say here arcs dot chart dot data dot labels. If I just only do this, we get the entire array of labels, as you can see here. Now I want the specific index number that we have here. Copy this, put it um, bracket here, save that, refresh, and now you can see here it gets the numbers or it gets the matching value of that of Sunday or the specific day. And as we hover over it, it recognizes that. So now what I want to do is just last thing is to say return to give this value and display that value on the slice. And there we are. That's how we can get a nice value on the specific slice in ChartJS4.